What happens in an election year, right? There is so much energy that gets sucked out of everyday life and put into what's happening, right? And so when you look at these four things, it's going to be really hard to determine what is going to happen this year because we do think rates are going to get cut. We know there's pent up demand. We all know that as soon as rates dip, we see it. Um, and we all saw that this year. Rates dip a little while ago and we, all of a sudden we had 20 cheetahs. Rates went back up and then, you know, they're hard to come by. Um, so we're going to be very impacted on the rate cuts pent up demand we know that's sitting there, and then of course, the lack of inventory. So we sort of have two good things and two bad things coming together. It's like a collision, right? And Tom Ferry is predicting that the first half of the year is gonna be where you wanna make your money, because there's a massive amount of uncertainty what happens in the second half of the year. Having done now my fourth election cycle, maybe fifth, actually, I can tell you that as we get closer, especially to a presidential election like this, the whole world seems to stop and everybody's going to hold on to what they're doing. So the idea from Tom Ferry this year was really front load your business, get out there right now. You better work your ass off right now to have opportunities that you can get done in the summer because we just don't know what this impact is going to be. Um, history, history tells us the best time for you to help your clients buy a house is the three months before an election. That's when most people don't want to pull the trigger. Most people are on the sidelines saying, I'll wait and see what's going to happen. So if you have clients that are savvy and they're comfortable, you probably, and investors, you'll probably have opportunities that other people are not bidding against. You probably won't have the same bidding wars we're seeing in some of our properties right now because every election people sit on the sidelines. And then luckily for all of us, usually December and January after election are really, really strong. Uh, so Tom Ferry's advice and my advice to you guys is that we really need to be ready for what's coming. We need to really double and triple down now. Um, and that'll play into some of the things I'm going to bring up in a little bit later here.